Good evening. Hello. <laughs> Hello. This is episode five. Holy. Can you believe it's it? It's a milestone. Five. Well, we're kind of slanted. But Are we? That's okay. Okay. Uh, that's all right. We'll sit like this. So tonight we're going to learn about the swirl. The swirl. The how and why you swirl. Okay. Okay. So this is what I learned. All right. That swirling is very important in the tasting um, process. Do you, want, do you know why? What's your guess? I have no idea. I Well, my guess. Uh, you look fancy doing it. You do. You look fancy. It looks like you know something. It kind of. Yeah. Kind of. And I think it releases kind of, from a molecular standpoint, it must release aromas and flavor. Aromas, you're right. It's all about the releasing of the aroma. Oh, it's like you learned. It's like I learned. It's like you cheated. I did. Well, no. I've been around people. <laughs> so it says that... It releases the aromas and it exposes itself itself to oxygen. Exposes is, itself? Yeah. Okay. To oxygen. And it's called wine opening. Okay. So it's opening up the aromas. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what else did I learn? What else? Oh, yes. And if you didn't, and you know why that's important to release the aromas? Because if you didn't have the aromas, then you wouldn't really have a taste of the wine. So they say to prove that you're supposed to plug your nose and drink the wine and you, you won't taste anything. Okay. I but, believe that. But I think you would drown a bit too, right? Uh, you could drown. <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> okay. So, okay. so there's a way to swirl and a, and a way not to swirl. And because we're beginners, we have to pay attention to the rules. Okay. You so tell me the rules. You're supposed to use your thumb and your pointer finger. Okay. And you hold the base of the yep. stem. The so that, that's why we have fancy glasses today. Oh yes, we went with stems. Yes, okay. and you do little circles, keeping keeping it on the table. You don't do this. No, that's advanced. Oh well, maybe I'm advanced. <laughs> and then if you're like really, really like show offy, then you like do it like grandiose gestures. Oh, we're we're going straight there. Right. No. <laughs> yeah. We want to be we're. We, we're simpletons. We're only learning. We need to like take it slow. So. Simpletons. Let's see. Okay. Mm. Okay. Let's see. Grandiose. I won't do too much because just in case. Okay. Oh, Sandbanks 33. Route 33. Route 33. This is an Ontario wine. From Prince, Prince Edward County. Okay, so okay, so little, little, so, yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, you do smell it a little bit. Are you crazy? Smell where from back there? You're yeah. like, Oh, I smell that totally. Now, try let's try advanced. I, I think it'd be hard to swirl from no, the base. I, yeah. If you did it like this, advanced, you can't, I can't even grip it. I'm gonna try. Oh my god, <laughs> look at you, you're so advanced. I'm gonna go grandiose. <laughs> well, that's scary. That's not even swirling. Okay, so, yeah, I can see that. It does release some of the, right. yeah, it was, it's easier. Oh, it hits you right away. Right. Interesting. Yeah. What'd you smell? Now that we, we've learned to open this sucker up. I don't know. I don't know. Something fruity. I got a bit of cherry. I smell a kickback of something that's not like necessarily good but let's read the you can read the back of the label because no, no. we're going to cheat a little bit tonight just to, we're going to cheat yeah we're just gonna we're gonna read about so it. this is route 33 sandbanks like we said it's prince edward county uh, a partnership of merlot and petite verdot this elegant red it's like a poem it's like a poem this i, I think it's called verdot this elegant red offers flavors of red fruit like plum and cherry with a spicy finish. Maybe the spice is what the kickback is. Yeah. Pairs well with roast beef, lamb, and of course, with good company. Bam. Gotcha. It's right <laughs> there. Cheers. So yeah, maybe it's the spice that's not very nice spice. Because I, yeah. Uh, there is that, yeah. You get something. Let's try. All right, we're, cheers. We're supposed to, I learned from Bill that we're supposed to, when you cheers, you're supposed to look at it in his eye. Cheers. <laughs> and then the, Greek, the Greek part of us does the bottom. Look in the eye. Right in the eye. 
Dog, what's up? Not my favorite. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend this one. You want for a second? Well, I kind of I, I nope. feel like people need an answer. I give it a zero. I can't give it a zero. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Maybe Just we very... don't like the, the Petit Verdot. Verdot. Maybe. Yeah, maybe this is a great wine for people who love Petit Verdot. Maybe. We, we, we need to research what that means. Because, yeah, this is harsh. Don't you find, like, that's the word I, I, I'm like, that's harsh. Yeah. Like, it's not appealing at all. No. There's not a lot there that I go oh that's so, nice. sorry but maybe again this is for advanced wine drinkers who are like maybe. oh I love the Petit Verdot harshness and acidity and nastiness but, <laughs> but I don't understand it thumbs down sorry so. sorry guys we'll do better next week we'll do better we tried to support Ontario oh well next time we'll pick right. another one